All right, guys, how you doing? G.I. Joe here. Welcome back to my bunker here in Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, I'm setting up here for a BBR42 game. And I uh, got a special guest here. I alluded to it on my table video. So I wonder who it is. It's Sire Blood. What? How did that happen? <laughs> So welcome to Hot Atlanta, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So uh, thanks I've, for uh, putting me up for a couple days. Yeah, it's great to have you. I was a little nervous. So those of you that watched my finishing my table vid that I uh, just posted here a couple days ago, um, you'll notice that I finished out my table, but I was wanting to get it done because for the inspection for Uber it's Sired. It. Yeah, the nice vid. Get to see if it was nice and smooth. Yeah. Pass inspection. Does it pass? It passes inspection. This is very nice. Very nice, Joe. You did a good job. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So I appreciate all your help and, and teaching and, and all that kind of stuff. So as you may or may not know, uh, this, of course, is Sire Blood's map the, that he made. Of course, this is all his table, um, his custom table that, you know, he was cool enough to share um, on some videos that he has on his channel. And of course, I use those videos to build this. So, and uh, you know, seen a couple other guys. I think like War Pig. Some other guys are kind of starting yeah, to Pig. get into some table. Pagan, build. Pagan did his pieces. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's starting to catch on. So you got some cool stuff, man. So, anyways, we're uh, we just finished round one. So here in this BBR four or BBR forty two, and just kind of let you know where we're at here. Uh, let's see. This will start off. We had some battles here in on the Eastern Front and. Russia took about three or four territories, and Germany has taken pretty much everything back except for Ukraine. And uh, what is that, Smolensk? Yes. So, um, but point out that Germany did get the Argentina. Yes, they did get Argentina, so that's been um, activated. So they have uh, an additional five IPC bonus for the rest of the game, un unless we come over here and take that away. But. Um, yep. So cool way the the game started out. We rolled for tech, and like three of the nations missed. <laughs> Crazy! This has never happened. Yeah, never Russia happened. missed, Germany missed, and United States missed. So the game started with J Japanese tech, which we don't know what it is yet. He hasn't divulged it. Uh, UK has ATC, so you know radar and all that kind of stuff. So uh, let's see, we'll kind of work our way over here. The United States has come to Gibraltar, and uh, UK dropped an airbase there, and so there's some planes sitting over here. Uh, Canada's come down to grab um, French Guiana to get a little national objective there. Italy and Germany are making a push towards Egypt, and um, that's kind of what's going on over there. This is my Russia purchase, sorry. Well, I guess we should say that I'm Axis. Oh, yes. The ally. Yeah, sorry, yeah. Sire's playing the Axis. We, we rolled for it, and he rolled and got the Axis, so he currently has 10 points. Um, he has to get to 12 by the end of the fifth round, or if you want to think about the eighth round, but we're starting in round five. No, round round four. Four. Correct. Yeah, round four. four. On five. So uh, he got the South Asia points here last round with Japan, but then uh, UK took it back, but they can get that back pretty quickly and easily. Um, kind of brought his navy all over here with Japan to uh, wake, bought an air uh, naval base, and then you and then had a carrier dangling here. He had to send over there to catch one of his planes because he took out a few uh, American navy ships. And then America seeing that and learning from the last game we played, uh, pulled the pulled the navy back, bought carrier, what have you, and so that's where we're sitting there. And um, this is where Anzac, or no, the Commonwealth. Commonwealth. We're changing the name, right? We are going to change the name because Anzac was in, not in World War II. That's right. <laughs> so anyways, that's round one. We're going to go on round two, and uh, we'll kind of give you some updates as the game progresses. All right, here we are at the end of round two of BBR 42. Here with uh, the Great Sire Blood, his version, his BBR version of the 42 Larry Harris setup. You're just kind of, we're just going to go left to right here. Uh, everybody has their tech now, so that's the good news. Uh, the United States has dropped some stuff in here. They've reinforced Gibraltar. Uh, Canada came down and grabbed Brazil. Brought some dudes over to Gibraltar. UK has brought a battleship down here. 
Italy, this last move, has just taken Egypt. They kind of ping, uh, not ping pong, but they tag team with Germany. Germany whittled down Egypt a little bit, knocked off, what, three or four pieces? Three. yeah. And then Italy came in, and they chose to lose, what, three or four planes? Planes to keep the land units, oh, yep. I'm guessing he's landing here, right? Oh, yes. But, um, so yeah, they have uh, that. Um, you see what's going on here in the Eastern Front. Germany's poised. And uh, things are looking dicey here in the Middle East. And uh, UK and China is taking the South Asia point. I'm sorry, Japan is taking the South Asia point. And China is trying to hold on and be a pest up here, but we'll see what happens. Down here, uh, and Commonwealth, formerly known as Anzac, has taken Dutch New Guinea and uh, they took out the Navy that was sitting here in 56. The Japanese Navy, I think, what, a destroyer? Two destroyers, a cruiser, and a transport. Britain is coming, taking Salibs, and uh, with the transport and that. And uh, bought a complex here for Queensland. And uh, the Japanese Navy that was doing a screen lost all their, all their ships. And the uh, United States kind of sent a sub in here to sneak, uh, not sneak attack, but target select the uh, one transport that was left, other than the one that's in season six. And the United States is sitting there in sea zone 10. And uh, the Air Force from the United States was used to take out these blockers and then they all landed on Midway. So uh, that's kind of where we're standing now, but the Axis after round two does have 13 points and Axis is being, being played by none other than Sireblood. So on to round three, see what happens. Okay guys, just finished round three, right? Yes. Round three, so we have two more rounds to go. And this is the status. First of all, we've got Axis, uh, Jace, or Cyberblood does have 12 victory points so far. Um, actually, no, that's not true. Take away Pacific, or oil. Oil was taken away, so. Oh, they just lose oil. One, two, yep. yep. So, um, let's give a little synopsis here. Uh, you see what's going on over here in the west. On the eastern coast of the United States, uh, Canada's come down here with some transports. They've got Gibraltar. Um, U.S. brought some reinforcements to Gibraltar and then brought some stuff into Malta. Uh, U.K. dropped an air base there, and we started loading planes here, moved in some ships. Italy, of course, took Egypt last time, came down and is in the process of taking the Horn, which shouldn't be a problem for them. And, oh, can I move this over there? You can't go through. Oh, duh. Sorry. I'm so an idiot. The answer is no. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, thanks. But, um, oh my gosh, what, how stupid. So, um, anyways, so you see what's going on here. And kind of a little combined allied effort of air base, scrambles, plus battleship cruiser destroyer. Italy, uh, after taking Egypt, consolidated back to here to, I guess, respond in some way. I have a couple options. Germany, last round, took Romania. Uh, Russia had a whole bunch of stuff piled in here, and they came, went ahead and went for it, and were left with three tank, four tanks, rather. Um, they did not have heavy tanks. They had uh, heavy artillery, or self-propelled artillery, so they had more pieces reached there than anticipated. So they did take it, um, and of course they moved up for a counter if Russia counters. Let's see what's going on in the Middle East. Um, here we have... Uh, UK brought the tanks from here over to India, and oh, we lost the South Asia, South Asia point as well. Tip on thinking, you could only bring two tanks there. You are correct. So, uh, well, dang, if that was the case, I'd have gone that way. But well, we'll do that. How about that? So, uh, yeah, so we railed two tanks from over here, moved one else over there. Um, Japan here, China took Kwai Chow, stepped up, and moved into there. China point looks okay. Um, last turn, the very end of last round three, uh, the Commonwealth, formerly known as Anzac, came and take, took Malaya. So they've taken away the South Asia point. So actually, that means they're down to, Axis are down to 10 now. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, 10. 10, back down ten, to 10. Ten. UK took Borneo. And of course, the combination between Borneo and uh, Salibs and Dutch New Guinea takes away the uh, world oil point. And then the Commonwealth took Malaya, they took Dutch New Guinea, sent to transport to New Britain, and then purchased them here. 
That way they can get their NO. So uh, Anzac the Commonwealth did get two NOs, so total collected 20. Uh, there was a naval battle uh, in C-Zone 26. I think three Japanese carriers and like yeah, six planes. Carriers. America brought pretty much everything in here. And this is what they were left with. Uh, they did all the planes that America piled in here. They didn't, my bonehead self didn't foresee all the bomber paras and the tran uh, transport and the takeaway. So they did take, uh, they did take Midway, lost a lot of planes. America lost all their planes there. And they bought a few more, came down here. So that's kind of where we're staying at the end of round three. So Axis with 10 points, beginning round four, and it goes Russia. All right, guys, here we are, just finished round four. We're round five for BBR 42. And uh, so the final round, and uh, right now the Axis are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. I'll show you some of the highlights of what has happened here. Uh, I don't know where to start. Oh, let's go with Germany. Germany uh, took Leningrad. Um, very good play. I thought he was coming down here, and I neglected to defend Leningrad like I should have, and he sent all of his tacks up there. Target selected almost every single piece I had, and so basically walked in. So Leningrad is lost. No way I can get it back. Um, let's see. United States there, Gibraltar, Canada came down here to Morocco, France backed into Morocco in case they try some type of spiffy move to try to get the new Rome point. But to try to thwart that, Canada came with their plane off Malta with the air base that UK bought and took out, that along the destroyers, took out four transports here and the plane landed in Kenya. All that's because these tanks are going to come up here to hopefully try to thwart them getting their, um, the horn, horn, horn of Africa point. And uh, Italy has bought an air base here to keep these transports from coming in and doing some type of amphibious what have you. Uh, Italy is coming into the Middle East to try to see, so if I vacate here, so they can maybe step in, that kind of stuff. Let me see what's going on here. Uh, there was a battle for Burma. And, whoop, how did Calcutta get over there? Battle for Burma and Japan lost, so I think South Asia Point, South Asia Point is gone. Anzac, the Commonwealth stepped in the Shan State, so now these tanks can't blitz in to take Burma back. Um, the Commonwealth has taken back the Philippines for the United States, so that point was lost. And UK last turn took Quang Tung from the transport that was on Borneo, and then the carrier and cruiser went over to India. See, China stepped up and stepped everything into Anway. And uh, Soviet Union has taken Manchuria, and Japan dropped a complex there. And they, it turns out Japan has heavy tanks. That was a secret for the entire game. And the United States brought some pieces down here to, uh, to Queensland. And Japan consolidated their navy to C-Zone 6. And the uh, U.S. bought a couple of carriers, put them in there, and did some stuff here. Oh, U.S. took uh, Wake Island and Midway to take away the Pacific Island point. So, starting round five, this is it. Um, I, I, I blame my failure on my teammate who walked out on me when she oh, left. Yeah. <laughs> she yeah. left me after round three. My, my, my six-year-old daughter was rolling dice for Sired and was killing me. <laughs> my, my pieces were and getting moved off the board. She had to go to bed. She and now to I'm losing. <laughs> 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 so, uh, thankfully to me, uh, you know, the, but we went and saw the, the movie Midway, you yes, know, the yes. tide of the, the war in the Pacific, and uh, I think Emily, maybe going to bed, was the tide of the... <laughs> yeah, that's when that started to change. Yeah, right? <laughs> but, uh, so just having a good, good fun hanging out here before he heads out back to L.A. tomorrow, so thanks for coming and hanging, man, having a blast. All right, we'll go on to round five, Russia. Well, we are finished, just finished round five of BBR 42, and kind of a crazy game, huh? Crazy game. So, uh... You killed me. I don't know about killing. You killed me. So, if you recall from the end of round four, we had the axis down to eight points, <laughs> and then sired... Then all of a sudden... All of a sudden... At 12. <laughs> he had 12. He went from eight to 12, and, you know... It's late, it's one o'clock in the morning, one of those things where you know you miss some stuff. So so what all what all happened traded here? He uh how'd you would you go how'd you go from eight to twelve? You you it already was uh 
Hold on a second. Oh, I got uh, Hong Kong back. Oh, yeah. Shanghai, he, whatever that one was. got Hong Kong back. The islands back. I jumped on four islands at the same time. He got, or, yeah, he he got, got all these islands. Oh, and the Philippines. And the Philippines. So he went, he got eight. He went to nine. He got this back, ten. He got the island, the Pacific Islands, eleven. Oh, then the oil. And then so he, he came in and got Iraq and got oil. So he went from eight to twelve, boom, in like, you know, a couple turns. Yeah, a couple turns. A couple, a couple... In the in the last round, and then the Allies uh, came up and assured that the came from Gibraltar and came up to Normandy to, to ensure that they couldn't get the wall. When he saw that, he came and dropped his planes as Germany down into Egypt. The reason he did that was because the United States was sitting here in Malta, and uh, I did a couple things. First of all. Uh, Canada came, no, that was last round, right? Yes. Yeah, so uh, United States came over here. Oh, that's what they did. United States came and killed the two, or, or the three pieces that yes. were here to try to clear it out for UK to come in and maybe take Egypt. And then the planes landed here. We parried here. U UK uh, railed tanks up here to make sure that they couldn't get the Africa Horn Point. And then... The very end, he since his planes were of no use up here to get back the wall, he brought them down to Egypt, which checkmated or, or trumped the UK's attempt to come and get um, Egypt. So instead, UK came up to get Iraq. They took Iraq, and then Italy took it back. And then once they did that, Anzac came and took Java to take away the oil point. And then they came up, and there was one tank. Japan had one tank left here, and Anzac came up and took the Philippines back. So final score is 10 access and like 10 to, points. like to point out, the right. game again ended on the last round the last on Anzac. It's just, it's always yeah, the last round. Sense. It's always the last team. It's always the last turn of the sequence to end the game because I had 12 before Anzac went. Right, so, and that's, uh, you don't get that in out of box. And, 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 and what it does is it, it makes it to where, regardless, both people or both sides are having fun all the way to the end. It's not like you know, eighteen hour marathon where one side is just getting demolished, and it's just a matter right, of right. like you haven't officially gotten to the official victory conditions yet, even though you're getting demolished. So yeah, but your your house rules are great, man. Thank you, thank you. They're fun to play, and uh, those are short game. Have you shown off your uh, painted table yet? Well, um, yeah, I, I did a video. Oh, did you? I did a video. Um, on the process of doing that, uh, I'm finishing out right before you came, so um, it meets a uh, sorry for your Yeah, you did a really good so. job. It's nice and nice and smooth. Appreciate so. it, man. Just I just kind of followed your steps. I'm I'm not very creative, but I'm a I'm a good imitator. So, um, but yeah, man, I had a great time. It was great having you out. Unfortunately, he has to leave. I'll I'll say tomorrow, but it's uh. You're leave in a couple hours, actually. Today, because yeah. it's already one o'clock in the morning, but. Thanks for coming out, man. Had a blast. And uh, there was something else I was going to say, but I can't remember. Oh, well. So, the, so guys, hope you enjoyed this little recap of BBR42. It's a great... I mean, do you foresee any tweaks here in this? or I know we've been playtesting yeah, a lot. Sure. We'll probably wait until uh, uh, Cold Lana. Yeah, Cold Lana in February. Yeah. 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 Well, what, a couple things we did add is oh, you, you did yeah. add a, a, um, a, a naval base in Argentina. Is that correct? Correct. And that kind of goes along with the, uh, you know, the German. Well, they, one they had a naval base there, but also the, the German national objective of reaching. Yeah, is it fifty five IPCs? Fifty three. Fifty three IPCs. Yeah, if, if you were to to go there, the point is you should be able to get back quick, not take two turns right. to get back. The game's not even on the eight round game. It's not that long enough to waste resources unless you can get back. So at least now you can immediately be back. Yeah, and I noticed that when you set up the game, you added one uh, Anzac transport down yes. to sixty one. Yes. Okay. Are you still was... feeling that's okay, or? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I couldn't um, give them any more territory because right. they didn't have anything. So just kind of like, well, it's almost as like Anzac didn't do anything in the first four rounds of the game. Right. So since I can't give them territory, I give them at least uh, pieces of equipment. Right. You know, okay. out of out of harm's way. Like right. That. Like it's you can't kill it. Right. You know, so, so before they, can, they get they to can, use it, they can choose to use it. All right. That's cool. Um, also, uh, Greece went under the control of Italy. Right. Instead of Germany to offset some of the IPCs because that was, went for Italy because again with Italy it was the same scenario they played for four rounds 
basically, and still has 10 IPCs in 42. So we try to bump them up just a little bit, give them 12. Right. It's not much, but it's something. Oh, and we finally figured out the Japanese tech. Not until the last battle which, of the last which round. Saved, which saved. Saved Shanghai. It did. It's just, that big horde. I had 10 guys, three cavalry, and a plane. Yes. And I you, had four tanks and a guy and two techs. Yeah. yeah and... Uh, he, he was left with two tanks, and all that big Chinese horde was there, so Shanghai held. Because so, my uh, tech was heavy tanks. That's right, heavy tanks. Heavy so tanks that, and actually, that, that helped you in the, they, the Philippines as well. So, so he kept it all the way down to the last, to the round, round five. Until Anzac came in. That's crazy. So, uh, yeah, good game. So, hope you guys enjoy, and, um, and uh, I guess we'll see you guys on the next... Uh, Next video. Thanks for thanks for watching. Take care.